looks like a 14 karat gold uh, chain. It's heavy too, that's got some weight to it. Nine eight ounces, almost one ounce of gold in that chain. Woohoo! All right, headed out to the lakes. It's always fun when I get out to the lakes. And uh, so I got a little bit of drive to go. Hopefully, we're going to get up there and find some good rings, some silver rings. I'm in the hunt for gold. The best I've gotten so far is a gold plated. I haven't got a solid gold ring yet. Uh, this generation, these youth, these teens, they just don't wear those types of rings anymore. It's all tungsten, stainless steel. And uh, if you're lucky, you get silver. But anyway, uh, as soon as I get up to the lake and get out in the water, find something, I'll definitely put the camera on and show it to you. So I'll see you out in the water. Get in, let's see what we can get. been in there and that swimming area was good I got two rings I'll show it to you here in just a minute well I left that other swim area uh, there was just too many people there and I found this ring right here it's a cross preacher digger got his cross it's a nice little James Avery uh, ring uh, it was ringing up as an 83 it was about chest deep of water and uh, usually all rings some for some reason ring up like an 83 or an 85 or or something like that but hey I'll take James Avery any day and I uh, just thought I'd show it to you guys. I uh, couldn't show it to you out there at the other swim area. But I also got another ring. I was going right beside the uh, middle banister, the middle barrier, I mean, in the, in the swim area. And there was two ladies standing, you know, four foot apart. And I was swinging in between them. And I was getting a 90 to a 93. I'm thinking, ah, I can't leave this spot because a 90, 93 is going to be usually a big silver ring. And sure enough, look at that. It was a faith, hope, and love ring. So definitely in the Christian uh, spirit today, aren't I? With faith, hope, and love in the cross, uh, definitely found religion at the lakes. Uh, so anyway, that's a nice ring right there too. I haven't looked on the inside for the marking on that. It, uh, it could be very well, could be a James Avery as well. So there it is, two, two rings so far. Uh, I moved on to another swim area and uh, about chest deep, almost chin deep water right here and just kind of hanging on to the barrier. And uh, so we're gonna spend about 40 minutes here and then got one more swim area I'm gonna go hit at and uh, see what we get. So I'll see you at the next find. Hey, I met a new friend out here in the lake where I'm detecting. His name is David, all the way from Arkansas. And uh, he uh, working down nearby, started to hit the lake today and uh, came over here to this hole and he got him a nice, 925. 925, man. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna clean up really good. That's a yeah. nice butterfly. I'm gonna take it and uh, put it in uh, baking soda, yeah. hot water, aluminum foil, and then rub it down real good. My daughter or my wife will probably like that real nice. Oh, that's, that's a good find. Well, there's that means no one else has hunted it, so let's keep swinging and see what we come up with. Okay. Went over on the other side of the uh, lake in about waist deep water and got an 83 signal and uh, ended up being a real nice silver ring. Second one that we pulled out of here. David's right over there. He pulled out that first one that I showed you, that butterfly silver. And uh, I got the second silver. So let's keep on going. Well, I was getting a 47 to a 60, jumping all around, jumping real crazy uh, out here in chest deep water. It's pretty quiet out here. I think it's been hunted before, but I'm digging all the uh, scratchy targets, and this is one of those scratchy targets. Actually, it sounded kind of like a uh, piece of can slaw or, or even like a bottle cap sometimes. But it's a nice little, uh, I don't know if it's going to be gold or if it's going to be a silver uh, little rope band. But I'll take that. Uh, that's gonna always, always a good day when you come out. And I just asked him for one ring. That's all I really wanted to get today. And then I've got two more lakes I'm gonna hit on the way in. But it, anyway, I got my first ring. That's my first good find. So I still got some more to, to uh, detect. So uh, uh, we'll just keep on at it. Let's get it.
Well, I moved on to another lake, and I got my first signal out here about waist deep waters, bringing up as a solid 55. It didn't sound like a pull tab, and so uh, it got my interest in it because it was a little bit more solid than a, a pull tab usually has kind of a double click, double hit. This was just kind of a solid. Ended up keeping it in theme with uh, my other rings that I found, the Faith, Hope, Love, and the Cross, and now we got the heart. So we're definitely in uh, love and Christian things, aren't we here? Got a theme going on. Let's see what else we can find. Let's keep on rolling. Just right down past that uh, heart bracelet, I got a heart earring. So I'm on a roll here with uh, faith, hope, love, the cross, and two hearts. All right, let's keep on going. I'm out here about a little about shoulder deep water and I guess getting a solid, a real scratchy, I mean, uh, 55, 56, thinking again it's a pull tab, but uh, it had a double clip, tap like a pull tab and all, but I'm digging it anyway because there's not much tar many targets out here. But end up being a, uh, I think this is going to be, I haven't looked any for any markings yet. I don't know if it's going to be a, uh, some type of chain. It could be silver. I'm not really for certain yet, but uh, anyway, uh, that's another great find, you know, we'll take them. Take all we can get. All right, let's keep on rolling. It's pretty clean today, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you come out and you have a good day and get several rings and necklaces and stuff, and other days you come out and you get hardly nothing at all. But uh, you just got to keep going. Some days are better than others, so we'll come back out here on Thursday and see what we can get on Thursday. All right, well, I'll see you in the water then. Well, this is my third swim area that I met. I started out early this morning at one, didn't find anything, went to another spot, didn't find anything. This is my third spot. It's getting a 70 to a 68, kind of jumpy. I figured it was going to be a tungsten ring. Nice little rainbow looking color tungsten. Hey, I'll take it, man, because I haven't gotten anything all day. So this is my first good find. So I've been out here about 20, 30 minutes and uh, got one. So let's keep on going, see what we can get. Well, not too far away from where I got that ring. I was getting a 68. It's a real jumpy signal and uh, end up being another heart. Keeping it theme with all the love and hope and faith and hearts that I've been getting in this uh, episode. But it says mom in the middle of it and it's uh, 925. It's ringing up real jumpy like that because it's, uh, it's not a round ring. It's got some rough edges on it like that. But hey, I'll take that a little silver heart with mom on it. All right, let's keep rolling. Well, it's been about uh, 25 minutes, but I got a real, like a 37, real jumping around. I got a little chain here. I don't think it's gold, because uh, this kind of kind of faded and stuff. But anyway, I'll take a, I'll take a nice necklace or a bracelet. I think is what it is. All right, let's keep on going for that gold ring. Well, out here in chin deep water and uh, got a real static, real, I mean, this, this must be the lake of chains here. I got another chain, pretty nice one right there. Uh, I don't know if it's silver, it's ringing up really bad because it's not a solid signal and it's got the edges all over it. So I don't have to look at it. It's uh, pretty nice looking, but hey, I'll take it. Let's keep on rolling. Well, it's getting a real scratchy signal again, and it's a silver ring, got a heart on it. I'm in that theme of heart, aren't I? And I can't see the maker's mark, but that's the smallest ring. I'll tell you what, that is very thin, but I'll take it. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I've been here for a long time today, but I just haven't been giving up. I've just been uh, going back and working 
these areas just keep on going and keep on going and hey now it's an episode check out that beautiful cross oh that is really nice and uh i don't even know what it was ringing up what ringing up silver i don't think it's going to be stainless but uh i'm going to stay out here till dark there's still stuff out here to be found it just takes a while to get it up so let's keep on rolling Well, I was getting a 37 to a 51 signal, and I looking for a gold ring, but I didn't get a gold ring, but I got a, looks like a 14 karat gold uh, chain. Pretty nice. Check that out. Yeah. Finally got me some gold. Uh, I'll take that. Well, that's shiny, and that's heavy, too. That's got some weight to it. So, uh, let's keep on going. This tank hasn't been hunted, so uh, maybe there's some more gold out here for me. Well, I made it in the lakes last night, but I didn't have time to shoot a wrap-up because I decided to stay in that one lake for six solid hours. I stayed in that lake. i gone uh, detecting all this past week. I usually, each video is about a week's worth of detecting, and I go back to these same lakes maybe once or twice, and I decided on Friday I always go to a new lake. And so I chose one. So I stopped at one lake and uh, didn't find anything. Went to the next lake and, and didn't find anything. Went to the third spot where I spent the rest of the evening and didn't find anything <clears throat> until I got about waist deep. And, uh, and then I started getting onto some hot spots. As uh, KG would say, I found the nectar sector with my detector. And uh, I decided just to go in it and go at it every angle and cover it, then go back and recover it in a different angle. And I, I, six hours I stayed in there and boy, I got a lot of stuff out of there. If it has been hunted, it was not hunted very well, but I'm glad I got on it and ended out my week very good. Had a great, great week. This video is probably the best video uh, uh, detecting that I've done this, this far. And so uh, let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. And when you're doing a lot of digging, you want a lot of treasure, you got to really dig all the trash. And, uh, you know, I probably dig about 90% of the trash. I don't dig every single thing. But I do dig these uh, bottle caps. They do ring up staticky, but sometimes uh, uh, there's treasure in there that rings up staticky as well. Those ring up really well too. And of course, I dig these because this is what a gold ring is going to ring up. This is also what a gold ring will ring up. These always fool me. I dig a lot of that. And so I dig a lot. I dig a lot of this stuff here too that's got the iron grunt because a lot of the iron grunt is going to be uh, a lot of the necklaces and chains and stuff like that. And so I'll, uh, I'll do that. Or... Uh, some of this will sound like an open ring, like a toe ring or a ring with rough edges on it. It'll ring real, real staticky. So I dig all that up. And so, yeah, lots of trash, lots of trash. But here's my treasure. You can see there's all my quarters. There's $10 in quarters that I've dug. Then uh, $2.10 in dimes. And there we have uh, 12 nickels, 60 cents. And then we got 30 pennies. And then I dug these, I think those are SKS bullets. I dug about 30 of them up last year when I went back to this lake. And then a little key, and I don't know what those bullets are doing out there. And then I dug, my theme, this video should be something like Faith, Hope, hope Love, and the Cross, because that's what I dug. Uh, there's a heart earring, some weird looking, I don't know, it's kind of a neat looking elephant, another little bracelet right there. Then here's my necklaces, a love necklace. And then I got a mom, that's a silver uh, pendant. That's 925 on the back, has mom on it. I bet she's really missing that. So there's one heart, love, two hearts. And then here's a chain that I found, another chain that I found. And then I got a heart chain and all these heart chains. Then another chain here, I thought it was gold when it came out of the water, but after sitting up overnight, you can see how it rusted out. That's not gonna be gold at all. But check this out, folks. Check this out. A 14 karat gold chain. Look at it. It says 14 karat right there. It's upside down, but you can see it. And it has these little cuts on it that looks like it's got diamonds on it. Check that out. We're going to weigh it and see how much it weighs, too. All right, I got my scale. Let's turn it on. It is zeroed out. Let's put on the gold. And we're gonna have 27.9 grams of gold. If I can get that to focus there. It's gonna be 0.98 ounces, almost one ounce of gold. What's gold running for? Nine, eight ounces, almost one ounce of gold in that chain. Woohoo! 
But yeah, that's a, that's a great, great, that's probably the best find I had right here. And that was ringing up a real, a real staticky, uh, like an upper 40s, real staticky. Necklaces ring up real, it doesn't ring up normal, good solid tones. But check this out. Look at there. Isn't that a beautiful cross? But man, Preacher Digger got his cross. Check that out, man. That is awesome. Beautiful cross. It's big, too. It's probably two inches. And then here are the rings. I got six rings out of this video, plus another, you know, as you saw, that other man I met, he found a ring there at the same water area. This is another tungsten ring. I found one two weeks ago. It had a red stripe. Last week, video had a blue stripe. And this week, it has kind of a rainbow stripe. Boy, I'm on a roll with tungsten rings. There's a little silver ring there. I got another silver ring here. And then we get back into the heart theme. I got another silver ring that's a heart. Another James Avery ring, cross James Avery ring. Then a faith, hope, and love James Avery ring. So we got love and the cross and the heart. And then we got love and the heart. We got the heart. We got the hearts. Definitely a lot of love in this video. A lot of, lot of good Christian values in this video. But anyway, there's all my finds. I had a really, really great week and a week of change, really, isn't it? And, uh, and so I'm glad I found that gold chain. That is just amazing. All right, guys. Well, there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in a lake and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasures, I guess, in this video was what was represented on my tailgate, and that is the love of the cross and faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So until we see each other again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.